Hello, Astronomy GCSE, topic one about the Earth. I'm going to make some more videos filling in gaps, basically. I've done a lot of videos, hopefully you've seen a lot of them, but uh, filling in a few gaps so that I'm going to try and cover everything we need to know. So from the beginning, lesson one about the Earth. What do we need to know about the Earth? First of all, what is the shape of the Earth? Now, it's not a perfect sphere. It's an oblate spheroid, which basically means it's squashed. Uh, so it's squashed. So the distance between the poles uh, is less than the distance, the diameter at the equator. It's squashed. Why is it squashed? And it is to do with the fact that it's spinning. And as it spins, the stuff on the outside uh, tends to fly off at a tangent, okay? And so you end up with this effect of it being flattened. Um, interestingly, if you look at the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, they're a lot more squished because the, the material is more free to move around, okay? Uh, but it's an oblate spheroid, remember that. Also remember that the average diameter is 13,000 kilometers. There's quite a few numbers like this which you should remember. Okay, the mean diameter of the Earth, 13,000 kilometers. Might come in handy if you're on the chase or something like that. Uh, the structure of the Earth, well, there's a cross section of the Earth. So its radius is about six and a half thousand kilometers. And there are four sections that we need to know. Uh, the first one is the crust, which is the crusty bit on the outside that we live on. Uh, and that is made of solid rock. Uh, the depth varies from five to 70 kilometers. Okay, so crusty solid rock on the outside, relatively thin. Next is the mantle, which is the thickest layer, and that is molten rock. Uh, that's about 3000 kilometers thick, this molten rock. Um, and it can move. It moves due to convection currents, which you should know in physics, as in, you know that hot fluids like hot air rises and cold air sinks. And so this molten rock, the hot rock will rise and then it'll cool down and then it'll sink again and it'll end up moving around in circles called convection currents which uh, causes the movement of tectonic plates on the surface. People used to think it was very hot because uh, it used to be hot when the earth was formed and it's been cooling down. Now we know it's very hot due to radioactive decay uh, the stuff in there which is decaying, yeah, and as it decays, um, heat energy is generated. Next is the outer core. There's the outer core and the inner core. Um, the outer core is molten metal, mostly iron and nickel. And again, that is sloshing around molten metal at about 2000 degrees centigrade. Then the inner core uh, is solid uh, and that's hotter. That's at about 4000 degrees centigrade. So why is it solid? And it's to do with the pressure because as you get deeper and deeper into the earth, the pressure uh, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the pressure in the middle is so great that this uh, liquid metal crystallizes and we end up with solid metal, very, very hot solid metal, and that's the inner core. This is what we believe, you know, nobody's actually been there, but there's quite a lot of scientific evidence for the internal structure of the earth and how the density varies as well as you get deeper and deeper. Uh, 